Photolithography is an optical technique for transferring microscopic physical patterns onto a substrate. Often used to produce microcircuits, photolithography in its basic form uses UV light and a pattern from a photo mask to create the desired structure. The first step in this procedure is the cleaning process. During this step, a wafer surface is sanitized and any contaminants are removed through a series of cleaning methods. The first step to cleaning the wafer is soaking it in an acetone with slight agitation. After the wafer has been in the acetone bath for roughly 25 minutes, it is then put into a depolarized bath of water and then dried with nit nitrogen gas. After the cleaning process is finished, the next step is the spin coating phase. During this step, the photoresist is uniformly applied to the wafer to prepare it for the pre-bake phase. The photoresist is applied by using a spinner that rotates between 3000 and 6000 RPM for 15 to 30 seconds and typically produces a film of about 1 to 2 micrometers for most commercial silicone purposes. Once spin coating is complete, the wafer is moved on to the next step where the coating solvent is evaporated and the photoresist is hardened. To do this, the wafer is placed in a convection oven or put under a heat lamp and is heated over the course of 20 minutes for a number of cycles. The thickness of the resist is usually decreased by 25% during pre-bake for both positive and negative resists. Now that the photoresist is properly applied to the wafer, the process of transferring the geometric pattern onto the wafer can begin. A photo mask is used to create the desired pattern by blocking UV light in certain areas and allowing it to pass through in others, and is applied to the wafer by vacuum sealer. This is where we make an important distinction between negative and positive photoresists. In negative photolithography, the unexposed regions are removed for the final structure. Conversely, in positive photolithography, the exposed regions are removed. The next step is to remove the uppermost layer of substrate in the areas that are not protected by the photoresists. This process is called etching. It uses either a liquid, known as wet etching, or plasma, known as dry etching, as a chemical agent to remove the substrate layer. For semiconductor fabrication, dry etching techniques are usually used because it avoids any undercutting of the photoresist pattern. Wet etching processes are usually isotropic, which makes them optimal for the production of microelectrical mechanical systems. Once the photoresist is no longer needed, it must be removed from the substrate. This is the final step in the photolithography process, which uses a liquid resist stripper that chemically alters the resist so it no longer adheres to the substrate. It can be removed by a plasma containing oxygen, which oxidizes the photoresist, making it easy to remove. Once the resist is dissolved or removed, the solvent can be removed and heated to 80 degrees Celsius so that no residue is left. This concludes an overview of photomask photolithography. Mm -hmm.